It's lunchtime for these dairy cows at a research center at the University of New Hampshire. Lately, their feed has included seaweed sourced in the nearby state of Maine. The seaweed is given in small amounts, but it packs a big punch. Researchers say their new diet substantially lowers the cow's methane emissions. We have seen a drop in methane of about 20 to 30 percent. Andre Brito is one of the co-principal investigators in the seaweed project. He says the type of seaweed matters. One type found and given to cows in Australia reduced emissions by up to 80 percent. Reducing methane is critical to fighting climate change. It may not linger as long as carbon dioxide, but it has more than 80 times the warming power. President Biden and other world leaders have made reducing methane emissions a top priority. So together, we're committing to collectively reduce our methane by 30 percent by 2030, and I think we could probably go beyond that. The energy sector is the biggest contributor of methane emissions in the U.S., but emissions from farm animals are also substantial. The agricultural sector is the second largest contributor of methane emissions in the U.S., with cows being the biggest culprit. Their burps and farts account for roughly 25 percent of the total annual emissions in the U.S. Brito says seaweed should be a part of a cow's diet, so long as it doesn't impact milk production and quality. When you try to incorporate any new feed stuff in, in a dairy ration, including seaweeds, you cannot have a, a trade-off with milk quality. Farmers get paid based on the output and quality of the milk their cows produce. The good news is data indicates the seaweed used in his study actually improves milk production. But the cost of seaweed can be high, and it should be locally sourced to reduce the carbon footprint. Brito says part of the study is looking at how to overcome some of the challenges currently preventing widespread adoption of seaweed among farmers. So you look at the whole uh, system, not only what is being fed to the cows, but also how we can engage seaweed producers, engage dairy farmers, engage the dairy industry and policymakers to come up with a system where farmers can then be paid for reduced carbon emissions. What would be good for farmers would also be good for the environment. Karina Huber, CGTN, Durham, New Hampshire.